Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here once again. Hope you've had a really, really good week wherever you are. Uh, please keep those bits of feedback coming in about those bulkhead pads that uh, catch fire. I'm very interested to take the case further. Several of you have fed in pictures and so on, but I'm really interested to know how these have been caused. So just remember that I will be retesting um, our stag bulkhead pad again in the not too distant future, but I'm waiting a little bit of feedback from one or two of the UK suppliers who seem to be very slow in getting the feedback back to us. So uh, that aside, um, we are actually in quite a bit of a weather storm today. Thunder bolts and lightning it seems uh, even though it's June so today I've had to stay indoors and do a few things indoors um, one thing I've been meaning to do for a little while and um, responding to a few questions from people around the world is about the commission plate numbers now may not be the most exciting thing to talk about on a wet Saturday afternoon but they are important and um, with a little bit of knowledge it will help you understand more about your stag or if you're planning to buy a stag uh, what the various commission plate numbers mean. So I'm going to do a little film outside, show you where the plate is on the car and then I'm going to retreat indoors before I get soaking wet. Although it's drying here I have to say, uh, but um, yeah it's probably a, an indoors day. Let's have a look at these uh, commission plates then. Now part of the reason some of you are wondering why on earth is TR Tony sat in the passenger seat this afternoon, um, it's simply because I'm over this side of the car, it took some doing I have to say, because I'm not the smallest of individuals, um, so I could get onto the passenger door and show you, unless I hopefully I'm not going to get too wet here, exactly where these commission plates are um, featured. Many of you will know this already I'm sure, but if you look on the, um, the pillar here, uh, you can see there it is the uh, model uh, commission number plate with the paint code and everything else and um, so on every stag that's where you've got to look to see where your uh, commission plates are there are other plates and id um, identifying identifying plates on it but that's the principal one for you to look at so what i'll do i'll take a photograph of this because it's around the wrong way and we'll go back in the house and i'll show you a little bit more than i can do um, twisted round upside down with um, a few neighbors looking at me wondering what on earth i'm doing Let's get back indoors. Okay, so um, I've returned indoors now um, on the basis that um, leaning sideways with my backside up in the air and my neck crit is probably a bit more difficult. So I've just taken a photograph, printed it off and popped it on my desk here so I can actually start to talk you through the various elements of the commission uh, plate, the commission number plate itself. And um, it's, as we said, it's stamped on a plate attached to the left-hand side door pillar and is visible, obviously, when the door is open, as I've just shown you. Um, on USA uh, market cars, the commission number is also stamped on a small plate uh, visible through the left-hand side of the windscreen. And uh, that's really interesting. So just to talk you through the various things here, you've got the commission number here at the top, which uh, I'll talk you through in just a second with a alpha... Uh, letter as well. You've got a paint code, um, in this case for the uh, for UES 591S it's 94 and then you've got a trim code number as well and all these are stamped at the uh, at the factory when the car was made and affixed by rivets on the side. I've um, got various other factual uh, information here, gross laden weight 1705 kilograms, minimum curb weight 1250 and uh, obviously Triumph Motors, British Leyland, UK Limited, Coventry England and um, plate BSAU 481965. I think that's probably a quality or a standard uh, rather than necessarily the date of this plate itself. So that's that. So let me just talk you through the various elements. The big thing to watch for are, the, are these first two letters at the front. LD, as you can probably see here, if I just pick this up a little bit, let me just show you. LD, a bit clearer. LD 44678 is UES's. Well, LD, that prefix denotes stag model range, so that's a relief. Um, if it was LE to start with, at Lima Echo, then that prefix denotes a stag model range for the USA market. Um, and on later models, the commission number has a suffix letter U. So just something to have in mind when you're looking through your car to see where it was intended. LE means USA, LD uh, means here. Um, the number then, uh, 44678, just so happens to be the accumulated um, total number build of this model 44678 and um, if it had an L after that it would 
denote a left hand uh, steering except for later USA cars but uh, no letter is given to right hand steering models as I understand it. Um, and then you can see the letter A over here at the very end and um, that letter there, uh, just pull down there, actually denotes um, a Borg Warner transmission. So by definition Borg Warner 35 in our case is a automatic gearbox and that's what that means. So that's all cool and um, so that hopefully gives you a bit of an explanation about what the commission numbers mean and um, I can send you a photocopy of this if you want it just to give you a breakdown and an explanation. Um, what then gets interesting is the paint and trim code numbers and letters, uh, numbers rather, and I'll come back to that in just a second. So uh, remember 94 and 11 as my paint uh, code number, main code, and the trim being 11, 94 and 11. If I then just pull out my Triumph Stag uh, Repair Operations Manual, um, which I've got here and I've been looking to this, you'll see um, inside here, here's the explanation of the paint um, and trim coding system. Um, there are nine basic colours is what it's saying, allocated a number as shown in the table which I'll show in just a minute um, and then there's up to actually can be 14 shades in total that go with each of those colours so that's quite an interesting um, chart when you look at it. Um, on the left hand side here you can see the basic colour codes so you've got um, all sorts from black through to red, brown, yellow, green and so on, purple, grey down to white at the end and that uh, the basic colour number is given at the top here so black is one, red is two, uh, brown is three, yellow four and so on. And then what you see is um, the shades. So if I was to pick red for example, because uh, a lot of our cars seem to be red and flavours of red, then there's Matador which is number 12, Cherry 22, Signal which is ours 32 now, 42, 52, 62, Inca Red and so on. Pimento is actually 72 which was um, our UNY car before it uh, got uh, dismantled and uh, all the way through to the ninth shade uh, which UNY was originally in fact which was um, which was in fact magenta so that's uh, just at the top of your screen there um, just uh, this one that is a shade of red apparently so that's how that works so if we come back to my paint now number 94 all we do is look on this chart remember I'm looking now for UES 591S and according to the commission plate then the original colour was uh, number 94 here which was Inca. So it was an Inca yellow uh, colour and uh, just pull it across you can see and uh, yes indeed number 4, uh, 94 there, Inca, Inca yellow. That's exactly what um, the car came out of the factory as. Um, I then look at trim 11 and uh, these then double up these numbers as trim colour. So um, if I come back to number 11, I'll look through the table for number 11. 11 is at the top of the page here. It's the first shade, which of course was um, black. So my car came out the factory's inky yellow with a black uh, interior. And um, there are some other prefixes and so on. And that is if there are no prefixes at all, then it came in leather cloth, the kind of plasticky um, plus, uh, kind of seat covering that we all could come used to. If it did come in leather and there were some leather options then it would be free prefixed with the letter H and if it was just cloth on its own then prefix letter C. So that's really interesting how you analyse um, your uh, commission plate and um, hopefully that's been useful. And again if anybody wants copies of this um, I'm sure I can take a rough copy and send it through uh, as a PDF uh, if you'd like it. Okay guys, so I hope you found that um, reasonably interesting. Uh, yes, Tony, like watching paint dry probably, but um, hopefully you found it interesting. It is uh, an interesting subject. Um, it's a, a little bit of detective work uh, required for our cars. And one thing I forgot to mention is that there are a few kind of split uh, paint trims out there. So in the manual, they've said paint 19 uh, forward slash 26 trim 16 denotes that the vehicle is painted white and wedgewood and then trimmed in leather cloth coloured midnight blue. So just to expand a little bit on that, if you've got a, a car with twin two-tone paints, then that's how that works out. And then one final point is that acrylic paints bear the suffix A for alpha, so uh, just to complete the loop.
before anybody writes in. Good stuff, guys. Well, I hope you found that um, as interesting as it could be. Um, it is important, as I say, and uh, just gives us another perspective on our stags. Uh, I hope you're staying safe wherever you are, beginning to get out and about maybe a little bit more than uh, we were before. So I uh, hope to be out in the stag and doing more work on the stag. Um, priority being the garage right now to get that done, as you know. So we're getting on with that. And uh, yeah, please feel free to like, share and subscribe wherever you like. Uh, always good to have more on board. And don't forget to order your free Ari the Stag badge of honour from our website. Uh, I'll put the link in the uh, video so you can see it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Have a great week, guys. Stay safe. Bye.